push to restrict now. Larry Pratt, uh, founder or, or uh, head, uh, head chairman, he has been executive director of Gun Owners of America for over 30 years, gunowners.org. He joins us now. Uh, Larry, am I wrong to say this is the greatest assault we've ever seen? It seems to be shaping up that way. Uh, you can never tell which uh, murderous outrage will provoke this kind of a response, but this one seems to be the one that they were looking for, uh, the crisis that they are not going to let go to waste. And uh, they uh, apparently, are so far they've been somewhat successful in getting people to not consider a very simple proposition. If it's so bad to have guns in school, then which room would you rather your child be in? The classroom in which the teacher has no gun and an assailant with a gun is coming through the door, or another classroom where the teacher does have a gun and another assailant with a gun is coming through the door. And I think if you put it like that, the question kind of answers itself. So all of this uh, chatter is simply intended as a distraction to keep the American people off guard and and uh, our guard down so that uh, these politicians can come in and, and do what they like to do, which is to control. And they're not even interested so much in guns per se as controlling us. That's what gun control's all about. And I, I surmise that the politicians have determined that this is the moment. And when even somebody like Marco Rubio is starting to cave, then the um, yellow streak running up a Republican spine has gone pretty mainstream. Well, what's happening is the power brokers, the big mega banks that have bankrupted this country, they want to disarm the American people so we can fully be brought into tyranny. It's not just the Second Amendment under attack. It's the first. It's the fourth. It's the fifth. It's the tenth. On every front, the globalists realize that America was really starting to awaken. So this fraudulent election, Obama, this is a false uh, mandate, they're saying, to carry out all of their different frauds. And the power structure is rightfully scared of the American people. Now, you're up there. You know, the best, no compromise, second biggest lobby for the Second Amendment. We're seeing rhetoric. Well, here it is out of the Atlantic. Uh, here it is out of other, uh, you know, publications uh, going after the NRA, saying they're a hate group. They're bad. Well, they're a hate group. You must be Satan incarnate, according to these victim disarmament people. You know, the thing that uh, I find so amusing is if they are willing to accuse the gun lobby as being a part of the KKK, uh, I, uh, the easiest way to refute that is um, I haven't voted Democrat in quite some time. And yet the KKK literally was the action arm of the Democrat Party uh, when uh, instead of bribing blacks with money, they were intimidating blacks with guns. Uh, this has been the Democrat Party all along. And to try to cast this over onto the Republicans or anybody else just doesn't fly. Uh, but that's the kind of, I, you use the word desperation. That's, I agree. I think they're very desperate. And even if what they say doesn't make sense, they're just fluttering right now. And let's expand and on that, though. They uh, they do have more people in the Senate. Obama is not facing re-election. Uh, we know that uh, Bloomberg, who thinks he's president of the United States or dictator, he says take executive action. What are you getting from the Hill? What are the attacks that we're expecting to see? We know Feinstein's reintroducing the, the semi-auto ban. Well, my concern has been, and I may have expressed this uh, on one of our earlier conversations, Obama has shown that he doesn't care what the law is, he doesn't care what the Constitution is. In his opinion, I won. And therefore, in his uh, lack of understanding of American government, willfully, I think, uh, is that uh, I got 51% of the vote, therefore I can do anything I want. Well, I can see him issuing an executive order saying to gun stores who depend on him for their daily bread, if he pulls their gun license, their federal license, 
they're finished that day. They're out of business. They can sell no more guns. Well, if he threatens to do that unless they not sell handguns over a certain caliber, not sell rifles that can accept a, a high-capacity magazine, that's it. He and by the way, put, as you know, last year the ATF put out a public uh, comment period on banning most shotguns if they, quote, could be bottom-loaded. They said they could be converted, and, and they're already banning importation uh, of, uh, you know, Russian shotguns and things. So they're already doing things outside of law or, quote, under the radar. That's right. He gave us many signals, both in the Second Amendment area. You just pointed to a very good one, how he illegally and unconstitutionally banned the importation of those shotguns. Uh, he, he did the same thing with the reimportation of some rifles from Korea, uh, M1 Garands, um, perfectly fine, uh, basically target gun, kind of heavy to lug around, but you know, a nice thing to have a collector's item, if you will, 50-year-old, 60-year-old type of gun, ban uh, reimportation of those. So now that uh, he's got no concerns about re-election, I'm very concerned that things like I was sketching out uh, are likely to take place. We have elected a communist dictator, and he is rapidly exploring the limits of how far he can go before he gets any feedback. And well, and you've back. never talked like that, but he says that the U.N. and NATO is of our military. He signs an executive order to take over the Internet and won't let Congress see it, but lets the U.N. see it, and they brag, oh, it gives us control, shuts down power plants outside of law. Uh, I, I mean, he just does whatever he wants. Whatever he wants, I'm very concerned. And of course, there's a there's a practical way that he can be dealt with, but unfortunately, it requires uh, vertebra. It requires backbone, and that's something that Republican leadership in the Congress seems to be very. No, instead they're getting in line, and you're up on the hill every day. What is happening on on tax increases, on borders, on guns? The Republicans are saying. Hey, we're with you. Destroy America. Convert it. They seem to think that uh, their re-election, based on a Republican platform, which was pretty good, uh, it doesn't mean anything that really the American people are clamoring for what uh, Obama's trying to do. And as you say, they're just putting up the white flag.